Jaybird is a company with sports in its DNA. Company founder Judd Armstrong is an athlete, his intention with Jaybird to create a whole range of fitness-oriented headphones and wearables. But the sports headphone market is an ever-increasing one, with new competition arriving all the time. In the Freedom 2, which succeed the original Freedom, does Jaybird have a winning pair of sports headphones on its hands? How well do the Jaybird Freedom 2 sports headphones fit? The Jaybird Freedom 2 is a wireless pair of in-ear sports headphones, although they're not completely wireless like the Jaybird Run, as there's still a cable that runs around the back of your neck. Integrated into the neckband is Jaybird's speed fit adjustment feature, which makes it quick and easy to change the length of the cable by putting on two small pieces of plastic. We feel this is a more accomplished system than the one used by the Beats Power Beats 3 wireless. However, we found the volume control and inline mic module of the Freedom 2 to be a bit too heavy and in an awkward position. We had to tighten the cable quite a lot to get a comfortable and secure fit, which meant the volume control module had to sit behind our right ear. Changing the volume and accessing the play slash pause button therefore became a bit tricky, and the weight of it occasionally dislodged the right earpiece. We changed the fins that came pre-attached to the Freedom 2 for a pair that provided a more snug fit, but we still had a few issues with it coming loose. We also felt the ear tips could be pushed too far into our ear canal too easily. It's not a major issue, as it only happened when we were trying to adjust the fin to fit properly and give a secure fit, but it's something worth noting. We prefer the over-ear hook design of the Beats Power Beats 3 wireless as they're easier to put on and weigh less. There are a good range of accessories included with the Freedom 2, 4 pairs of silicone fins, a clothes clip for helping to keep the headphones in place, a carry case, and a battery charging module. The Freedom 2 has a fairly short 4-hour battery life from a single charge. To combat this, Jaybird provides a small clip-on battery module that doubles the life. You'll need to clip this on whenever you need to recharge as it houses the micro USB port. However, this attaches to the control module on the headphones wire, which, as we said, we already found too heavy. Adding the battery module adds more weight and makes the Freedom 2 even more susceptible to coming loose. However, Jaybird may envisage you not wearing them while they recharge, but that means no music. The other thing that bothered us about the control module is that it can't be used to skip tracks. Usually a double tap will skip forward a tune, but there's no such feature here, only a single tap for play and pause. Bluetooth performance is very good though. The Freedom 2 connected to our phone as soon as we turned it on and voice feedback direct to the ears tells you when they're on and the remaining battery level. One feature we do like